Welcome everybody to Forza Motorsport 7 and today we're taking a look at the 1980 Porsche 924 Carrera GTS. Now the 924 itself started production in 1976, lasting until 1988. Though a major criticism of the standard 924 was that it wasn't powerful enough or have good enough performance that you'd expect from Porsche. So I guess you could say this was a kind of response to that, because this was by Porsche used to get this 924 into racing and the GTS is basically an evolution of the Carrera GT which themselves were lightened given better suspension and improved performance and this GTS is basically a, a more hardcore version of the standard GT as it has even more pa power as even and even less weight uh, weighing in at 2469 pounds and the lightness is from the lights of the lack of pop-up headlights because obviously the motors and mechanisms in pop-up headlights are quite heavy to uh, no rear seats whatsoever as you can see when we open up the boot so uh, yeah creature comforts are at a bare minimum as you'll see when I open up here and it's even got racing seats from the 935 racer and uh, yeah as you can see very little in the way of creature comforts not even got an armrest or anything like that padding, carpets, everything like that has been pretty much stripped out entirely so uh, yeah proper hardcore racer the one you can actually use on the road and uh, yeah the uh, improvements not to stop there it's obviously got wide body fenders which allow for wider tyres so you've got better grip it's also got anti-roll bars and Bilstein dampers to improve the handling and yeah the power obviously is able to uh, use a bit most of that handling as with all those improvements as it has a 2 litre turbocharged inline 4 engine producing 245 horsepower and 247 pounds feet of torque I guess you could kind of look at this as a uh, predecessor to the 944 turbo which had similar power though more weight because it was you know a standard road car it wasn't meant to go on the track like this one was so uh, yeah a uh, pretty uh, damn uh, good looking car quite frankly and uh, one that you know is pretty rare there were very few made only a few hundred and uh, yeah, no doubt an expense as well. And uh, despite all these improvements, obviously it wasn't as quick as you, you know your 911 Turbo from a couple of years later or the 944 Turbo in terms of 0 60 times. But it was quicker in terms of 0 100 over the uh, 944 and had a higher top speed than both the 944 and the Turbo, the 911 Turbo. So yeah, pretty well impressive car all around. And uh, yeah, one that I. Uh, I've always watched this 924 in a game, and we've got the best version of it, quite frankly, here. So, see how it's how good it is actually. Though we're gonna have to take it out onto the track and see what it can do. So, see you when we get there. Right, right Hockenheim Ring full circuit for one lap. So, let's see what this uh, Porsche can really do. So yeah, the turbo is cranked right up for this GTS up to 15 psi, helping give it that amount of power and torque that it has and uh, yeah couple all that power and torque with the uh, lack of weight and you got a pretty fast vehicle the one that you know does require your attention as you could see there by my uh, attempt at that first corner so uh, yeah I personally would like the standard 924 in this game but I am glad they've actually put in a rare ultimate version of that car in the game certainly not one that I heard of I never knew they did, did, did a, such a fast version of the 924 but it is a good car all around and you can certainly see the uh, efforts that they went to just by looking at it in terms of weight reduction it doesn't even have a wing mirror on the right hand side for instance so uh, yeah Porsche certainly went all out with this and it certainly does help because yeah, for a 1980 car this handles and goes far faster than you would expect. 0 to 16, 2, 6.2 seconds. 0 to 113.819 seconds, going up to a top speed of 166 miles an hour. And that top speed is faster than the 911 Turbo and the 944 Turbo. And that, like I said earlier, that 0 to 100 time is also quicker than the 944, despite that car having slightly more power and slightly more torque. And obviously being far newer. So yeah, I know it's obviously the second portion of that we've had in the same car pack, but both of them offer different, you know, elements and certainly offer different experiences. Personally prefer this over the uh, 906, just purely because obviously it's more of a road car and 
and uh, less of a racer. But both are equally as good for their various reasons. And uh, yeah. I really, really ain't going to complain about having another 80s car in this game because there really aren't all that many in this game. And uh, yeah, more of them the better because it's, it's a, quite frankly a decade that seems to be uh, underrepresented. And uh, yeah, this is another classic one to add to that roster. So yeah, easily one of my favourites from the car pack. And uh, yeah, like always, I'm always glad to find a car on a car pack that I haven't heard of before and then end up enjoying, which is always a bonus. Nonetheless, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.